Today we're going to be eco-printing a luxury silk pillowcase. So this is a little bit different to the procedure we might use when eco-printing a simple scarf. You have to think about the extra weight that's in the pillowcase and the fact that it has two sides. So I'm going to show you a different technique for preparing and rolling and steaming the silk pillowcase. Quite a heavy weight, beautiful luster, and it's a queen size, so it's uh, fairly roomy. So we're going to have to change what we do just a little compared to the scarves in order to get this into a bundle and print it. So my plan is, I'm not going to use any plastic barriers, I'm going to just print it on half, fold this other half over, and then roll it without using a barrier. So the printing will come through from the front side to the back side to a certain extent. So you'll have one side that has clear and strong prints on and the other side the prints will be a bit lighter. And so I think that's the best way to do it. You could try to print both sides but you'll end up with a massive bundle and in my experience it's better to do it this way. So to start off I'm going to start off with an iron solution. So our usual small dose of iron. That's all we need. Tiny dose. Just make sure that the water ends up a little bit orange. There we go. So it's got a slightly orange tint to it. So in we go. So this is an iron dip. All I need to do is just make sure that the iron water gets all the way through the piece of fabric. So today I'm going to be printing tibuccina leaves with she oak. And I'll use a few little pre-soaked eucalyptus baby blue. I've decided to pop those in and give them a little bit of a soak to improve their transfer. They were quite dry before I put them in. That's all I really need to do for our iron dip. Now I'm going to lay that out. Our, our pillow cases come with an envelope closure, not a zip. The reason for that is so that we can roll them tight without worrying about having to protect the zip. I think I'm going to lay out my design on this half of the fabric. So I just need to mark where the middle of the fabric actually is. That'll give me a line, that gives me a, a nice line that I can work to. So I'm going to lay these out in the sort of a geometrical pattern of uh, lines. I have tested to make sure that this actually works. these flowers from our flower garden pack. They're probably one of the only things in this composition that you might not have access to by foraging. Quite fun to use a couple of these in there as well. They will turn very dark under the influence of the iron. You don't have to use those. Similarly with the baby blue, which is still a little added extra, but this composition works really nice even without these little embellishments. Happy. Now, I'm going to fold that over. I'm going to do it fairly decisively. 
so as not to try to disturb what's on there. Success, I would call that a success. Ah, I'm just going to use this to flatten it out, but I am not actually using a barrier on this, this particular composition. Does not need the barrier because of the size of the pillowcase and the fact that it's got two sides, and I want the um, flower and leaf prints to transfer to the back of the item as well as to the front. Still quite damp, that's good. I need a little bit of dampness. Okay, now I'm ready to roll. steam this for about an hour. If you were doing the flower garden project I'd suggest that you steam for about 40 minutes rather than the recommended 20 minutes. Just because it's a bigger roll and you just want to make sure that you get adequate heat all the way through to the centre of the roll. So this one, I've tested this and it will take about an hour. Um, if you're doing the Australian natives, you're using all the eucalyptus leaves, an hour and a half would be okay. And Rose and Baby Blue should probably steam again for about 45 minutes, so a bit longer than the recommended time in the booklet. Great, let's put this in the steamer for an hour and then look at what we've got. So here's our piece. This is actually the back side. Front side is here. one complaint about this pillowcase. It's advertised as being the perfect gift, but it's so hard to give it away. Thanks for watching. Night night.